Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching for take. So last time we reviewed the superiors for the OnePlus 6 and 60. That was non-dynamic partition built supported by the developer Vikas Aka Optimus Prime. Another developer Viritos has released this new paranoid Android UV Lite Android 14 based dynamic partition build. Paranoid Android is most favorite custom ROM for lots of users after Lineage OS because of its clean look, stability, and performance-oriented output. But with this new UV light version, developers has added new advanced features that we are going to discuss in this video. We will also check out is it daily driver built or not. We will discuss the Android 14 features working in the ROM, its performance, and finally, at the last, we will discuss the bugs present in the ROM. So please watch this video till the end. Now without further ado, Let's get started. On the new adventure. On the new adventure. As this is dynamic, a okay, retrofit partition ROM, your device partition must be on the retrofit partition scheme. For that, please refer our old video link. It's available under the video description. You have to just change the boot and the ROM zip file given in that video except that all the things are same. So I already did all the steps and we need to do clean format. For that here you guys the two options while formatting in the recovery. First one is the ext4 or f2fs. f2fs is faster as compared to ext4 so please select it if you want better performance. So for started to boot into the paranoid and red boot animation. ROM comes with the Paranoid Android launcher with the stock wallpapers. Now let's jump to the about phone details. This is the unofficial Paranoid Android version UV light. This is Android 14 based ROM which has this amazing easter egg with the space war type game hidden within the easter egg. Security patch is up November 2023 which is 8 to update for the December 2023. Kernel version is 4.9.337 with the kernel su support which is same as super errors we reviewed last time. Kernel of this ROM is enforcing means it has better security as compared to super errors Android 14 alpha build which has the permissive kernel. I did complete checkup of all the things like Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, Bluetooth, NFC, GPS, Hey Google voice activation, OnePlus slider, all the things are working great. Hey Google voice activation is not working in last super errors alpha build we tested. All the important functions are working, especially mic, ear speakers, all the sensors are working too. There are some minor bugs that we will check out at the end of this video, so stay tuned until the end. Here are some features of Android 14 available in the ROM, you can check them here, they are self-explanatory. Gosh. 
as rom comes with the kernel su support you can use the kernel level of root access you have to just install this kernel su application its link is given under the video description here you can enable the root access to any application that requires the root permission you can also able to flash kernel su supported modules the most important quality of kernel su is that you can still able to use any security applications even if your device is rooted I use the most secure banking applications like Axis, SBI, and all all are working fine. As next Septinet is also getting passed in the ROM. ROM has a paranoid Android launcher, which has small but some unique features like double tap to sleep on the home screen. It has some recent shortcuts like the screenshot, lens, and clear all buttons. Under the system and gestures, who gets all the picture gestures settings. ROM comes with the fully working OnePlus camera version 3.14.40 and gallery application. So we discussed most of the things. Now let's check out the performance of the ROM using the some benchmark applications. First, if you check the jitter values in the jitter setting available under the OnePlus setting, it remained between 1 to 1.5 all the time except some rise due to some application uses. Even in the Geekbench test, we got the max route scores like 562 and 1992 for the single and multi cores. Superior OS has the same scores except the multi core, which was slightly higher than the paranoid Android results. While the OpenGL and Hulkal scores were 2492 and 2240. OpenGL score is way higher than the Superior OS because developer has overclocked the GPU to 812 MHz which will definitely help for the better gaming in this ROM. Under the OnePlus Extra setting, we we'll get some new amazing features like screen touch boost toggle, which will help to increase the CPU frequencies when you touch the screen. App synchronization toggle helps to speed up the device performance. Adreno GPU boost slider is added in this ROM. Adreno thermal throttling is available to avoid the overheating if you are using the Adreno GPU boost slider. Screen FPS of this ROM remains always at the higher layer of 14 Hz when you try to use the device. Screen touch sampling output rate was remained at 125 Hz most of the time, which was good sign for the better touch response of the screen for such a old device. So we discussed all the things. Now let's talk about the bugs in the ROM. ROM has some missing Android 14 features like new AI wallpapers and, and AI generated emojis. I didn't found these features under the wallpapers and style section. Similarly, new linear font control tile is also missing in the QS panel setting. Device play protect showing the uncertified because of that you can't able to use some applications like Netflix. I tried to flash the play integrity module by kernel su application but still after using that it's showing the same error. Except these minor bugs, I didn't find anything serious in the ROM, so it can be considered as a daily drivable build if you are a fan of clean looking, best performing and stable ROM. They can, you can go with this which is definitely give you the new life to your device. So that's it for today guys. If you think this video helped you, then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.